Hi, my name is Kai and today I want to show you how you can number your device tags in ePlan automatically. So stay tuned. Sometimes it's necessary to insert a page in your drawing. Here we go in our page navigator with right click and then U. Insert the page to point A. OK and we have a new page. But later on we want to number all these pages. We mark this chapter and number it from 1. We don't want any text and, and we change the sub pages to convert into main pages. Then we click OK and in our preview we can see here that we don't have any sub pages anymore. With a click on OK we have now to the page 2.a is page 3. So our device tag on page 4 now, for example the conductor here, has an identifier, the page number and the column. But now it's page 4, so we have to change all these conductors instead of K32, K42. But we don't need to do all this stuff by hand. Therefore ePlan has a function. What we can do now is that we mark the chapter where we changed the pages and click on the left top corner Number Devices. Here in this window you can, you can choose the format and you can check or uncheck what identifier you want to number. For example X, what is typically the terminals, we don't want to number. All the others we can number. With click on OK, you get a preview window and can accept it OK. And now you can see that K32 is now K42, including all, all the contacts which belongs to this conductor. The settings for this fun functionality we can check now is on projects, your project device and here you have numbering online. Here you can make the default settings when you for example insert a symbol or insert macros and copy. The numbering format can choose here. Here you have different kind of numbering formats. When we for example change to identifier plus counter and say OK and we go to our page and insert a symbol, for example this fuse and place it here. This fuse get the device tag F1 because it's the first fuse in my project and I changed the format for the online numbering. What I can do as well is that I mark my complete project after I'm finished and use my number device functionality. If my customer for example has some requirements for the format of the device tag, for example identifier plus counter, I can select it in the first column, copy it, mark everything and insert with control plus V. Now we click OK and we got the question if we want to see the preview. I click No and now you can see that the device tag of the complete drawing has changed. Now for example my conductor is called K1. With this functionality you can save a lot of time if you need to renumber the whole project. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.